I remember many years ago when I was living and working in Hong Kong, as usually, I went out one night, went to the entertainment district called Wan Chai, picked up a girl, I remember she was from China, from mainland China, brought her to my apartment, we had a good time, I fell asleep, I woke up the next morning and the girl was gone. I started to get a little strange feeling, right? And uh, went into my kitchen and wanted to check on my wallet and valuables and stuff. And uh, lo and behold, uh, I found my wallet inside my pant, uh, but the money was gone. About 200 USD, 200 US dollars were just gone. And um, then I started to continue to check my apartment uh, and my watch was missing. You know, I had just recently bought a new Tissot watch for some of you guys who are familiar with watches. Uh, they know that Tissot watches, uh, it's a Swiss watch company, they can be quite valuable. I paid about 500 US dollars for this watch. I displayed it nicely in my apartment because I was so proud, right? And yeah, the watch was gone also. And I quickly realized, you know, um, yeah, I got ripped off. I got, you know, she stole from me and uh, lesson learned, right? So uh, that was actually in my early times uh, in Hong Kong, you know, when I still was a little bit green behind my ears. And this is what I want to talk about in this video. Don't let bar girls or freelancers or any other kind of girl you pick up uh, steal from you. It sounds, of course, very obvious what I'm telling you here. And I know the smart asses among you would uh, probably now say, yeah, that's a no brainer, Marcel. Why are you telling us this? Why am I telling you this today is because, you know, I want to expose myself to a little bit ridicule. I will blow the whistle, so to speak. And this video is rather for your entertainment, right? And by the way, I think I picked uh, an appropriate background here today, right? Yeah, so of course, I also made my experiences uh, when dating in Southeast Asia, bad experiences. I shared some of them them in my previous videos but I never shared actually how bar girls stole from me and what they uh, stole from me. The story I just shared with you uh, was one uh, experience, a bad experience and I remember also a second incident uh, that also happened in Hong Kong again uh, as usually that was um, uh, happening almost on a daily basis. I went out in the night, in the evening, went to the entertainment district, but I remember that on that specific evening, actually it was not an evening anymore, it was 4 a.m. in the morning and I was party, partying the night away alone and I was, I remember, pretty, pretty loaded and drunk uh, and uh, I met these uh, two Laotian girls, two girls from Laos, uh, this is the last I remember. I met them in one dance club and I remember hanging out with them and having some fun and stuff. And the next thing I remember is just waking up at around 8 a.m. in the morning. It was already daylight. Uh, a couple of blocks away from the club I uh, was before and I was sitting on a staircase uh, and I was completely wasted. I felt like shit and I didn't even remember how I got there, you know. <laughs> but I, but I must, must have gotten there somehow. And again, so I started, I got a bad feeling, so I started to check my wallet and stuff. And lo and behold, again, I missed not only my ATM card, but also uh, some cash. And uh, it was, I remember, the 10th of the month only. So I had three more weeks to go until my next salary would be paid. And I remember I had only like 200 Hong Kong dollar in my bank account. Two, 200 Hong Kong dollar, which is about maybe 30 US dollars. Yeah, I was playing it very hard at the times, you know. As soon as my salary came in, I basically wasted it all in the entertainment districts, right? 
And that was the second uh, incident. So I often, I remember some two cops uh, passed by and asked me if I'm okay. You know, Hong Kong policemen, they were patrolling there. And they asked me if I'm okay or not. I said, yeah, yeah, you know, I, I think I even snapped at them because I just figured out that somebody stole money from me and I told them that, but the cops didn't want to take any action. <laughs> so I, I think I got a little bit, little bit pissed off at them. And uh, yeah, so that was, and I, you know, I, I have no, no idea, no proof. Uh, maybe the girls ripped me off, maybe somebody else, maybe I just was too drunk and took a seat there and then I slept, I started to sleep and then somebody else took advantage, you know, it's not a big deal for these people. But anyway, these were actually the two incidents uh, where I was, uh, yeah, where, where people stole from me, you know. And uh, uh, again, the second incident, I don't even have actually proof if there were any bar girls involved, long story short, actually, I was very lucky because um, uh, never ever after, uh, somebody managed to steal from me. Of course, I took um, precautions, yeah, you learn pretty fast. And uh, if uh, the Chinese girl took $200 from me, then I consider this um, school money, okay? Uh, and I want to be fair also. Uh, during my, my time when I was living in Hong Kong, of course, I had uh, many encounters with, with girls from the Philippines, Philippine freelancers, Philippine mates, Indonesian freelancers, Indonesian mates, domestic workers, and they never stole anything from me. Probably also because they couldn't, because I took some precautionary measures which I will uh, talk about in a few seconds. So, but anyway, I had never any issues with any Filipinas or Indonesian girls um, in Hong Kong. Later, when I visited Angeles City in the Philippines, for example, uh, I also had no issues with stealing, but this is because they have very strict rules and policies in Angeles City. Some of you might know this. In Angeles City, uh, near Manila, uh, the big red light district area there, uh, when you uh, take a girl out of the bar, bring her to your hotel, she, the girl, needs to leave her ID card at the reception at the front office, right? This is for security reasons, so she can bring the girl to your room, and the next morning or whenever she wants to leave, um, the girl will leave your room, but she has to pick up her ID at the reception. But the front desk, the reception clerk, will call you in your room and will make sure and ask you if everything is okay, yeah, if you miss anything or, or anything else. So this is quite a very professional setup, you know. And the same I experienced in Thailand, for example, okay, um, many years ago. Uh, same system. So. What I eventually started to do during the time when I still were picking up girls, you know, I of course I hid my my valuables and my my wallet and other stuff in my private apartments. I never had a safety box, so this is my advice, of course. If you are bringing the girl to a hotel, use the safety deposit box and deposit all your valuables inside. I know this is a no-brainer for, for most of you, but you know, why so many incidents still happen? You know, because you're drunk, you know, and I don't know what, and then you forget about all these things, you know? So this is what I eventually started doing. Before I went out, I hid all my things in secret places, you know? And um, I remember I hid my stuff in my bathroom, you know? on top of some cabinets and stuff. I put my wallet there and some other cash and my cards and this and that. And um, uh, always tried to use the same uh, spot because I remember it also happened to me that the next morning I forgot where I put all my stuff and then I couldn't find it anymore. It was like, you know, this is the second thing. But this is how I managed to avoid any theft, you know. Um, yeah, so you have to get creative a little bit in, in hiding your stuff, you know, and uh, to make sure you have backup and uh, make sure that uh, the girls are not able to, to, to steal from you, right? Um, 
Of course, when you pick up girls from the streets, freelancers or from the bars or wherever, then the risk of theft is always there. That's why you need to take uh, precautions. Uh, uh, you cannot trust these ladies, basically. And how can you trust them? Because you don't know them, right? But, you know, uh, believe it or not, uh, many men still today, especially the newbies who come to Asia, they are so naive, really, and, uh, yeah, and behave that way. They don't think about it. They trust these girls. And then shit happens and shit happens big time i actually was lucky i remember like i just mentioned only these two incidents uh, where bar girls stole from me and actually only one incident right and uh, but there are way worse horror stories out there and some of you know them you can read them online in the forums in the and the YouTube comment sections, right? Worse stuff happened to many other men. And this is because actually of your own stupidity, sorry to say. Don't blame the girl. I mean, it's easy to blame the girls, of course. Ah, they are just bitches, they are thieves, and they are crooked, and they are just criminals. Yeah, you know, but you should know that. I mean, what do we expect? What do we expect if you engage with a bar girl, you know? Um, not, all, or not all bar girls are criminals per se, but some of them are really, really bad apples, and I experienced some of them. And so you have to, you have to know this before you start to deal with them. Yeah, don't expect anything. Just protect yourself, protect your valuables. And don't expect anything from these girls. It's a pure transactional um, relationship for a few hours. And um, if it really happens that she stole from you, then, you know, you have to blame yourself and not the girl. Blame your own stupidity yeah, and, 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 and what not. So, uh, and learn your lessons, you know. Um, and by the way, um, I lost way more money by visiting bargains or having bargains or using them or inviting them to my apartment or my hotel room than I lost money by, by stealing, you know? Again, you know my story now and how much money I lost, but co compared to the money I spent on bargains, this amount is ridiculous, you know? I spent way more money I actually should say I wasted way more money um, on bar girls. I spent the money. Nobody took it out of my pocket. I deliberately spent so much money on bar girls, way more than this Chinese mainland Chinese freelancer at the time was able to steal from me. Okay. So what's the moral of the story? Yeah, use your common sense. Um, be careful, know with whom you are dealing with, you know, don't expect too much, especially do not trust these girls, okay? You have to do this for your own protection. Whatever they tell you, however sweet they are, whatever they do, I know it's a honey trap, it can be, and I fell into this as well, and uh, this is how I learned my lessons, and now it sounds so obvious, but trust me, uh, be careful, okay? And uh, if you know it all, if you are a smart ass, then you might probably say now, oh, this video was a waste of time. Again, you know, this was for the sake of your entertainment. I hope you had a great laugh about my own stupidity because I know it would never happen to you, right? You are a smart panty. You have, you have it figured all out, right? And uh, so if this is the case, then uh, I admire you. And then you should also start to make some YouTube videos and educate the crowd about uh, all the tips you have and, 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 and all that kind of stuff, right? Anyway, I'm checking out for the day. Uh, Tell me what you think, uh, share your comments in the comment sections and yeah, I'm gonna see you in one of my next videos, hopefully. Take care, bye bye.